In this video, we will create an XML file. And the XML file will represent controller historical data. So here we have a form application already opened up. I'm going to add to it a new item. And that new item will be an XML file. I'm going to name that file controller historical data. Okay, so now we have the empty template here. And I'm going to start building my file. So I'm going to now take this file, I'll just copy that, save it to my desktop, and let's call it strong type, we'll just strong, fine. strong XML. Okay, so now it's on my desktop. Now what we need is the xsd.exe program. Move the strong file that I made over there and paste the ssd.exe directory uh, application in my uh, new strong directory on the desktop. So I'm going to copy the, the path there, go to my command prompt, paste in my path. Okay, so now we are in, oops, cd. Now paste in the path. Now we're in my strong directory. Now I'm going to convert the strong.xml file that I created into an ssd. So we just write in the call the ssd application. And then I'm going to, uh, strong.xml. I put the strong.xml in the same folder as the xsd program so that we don't have to type in the long path in this uh, command right here. Uh, I think you get the point. This sort of strong XML, and then we can write the output there. It's a switch. Output directory is going to be uh, nothing. We'll just put it right there. Okay, so you can see the xsd.exe program created the strong.xsd uh, file. So I'm going to uh, move that into my new application. And you can see that uh, if we open it up, look, now we have an xsd that has all the relations mapped out according to the way that I laid out the XML file. Okay, now that we have the XSD built, and uh, keep in mind that this XSD was generated in a two-step process. The first step was I manually created the XML document because I knew what kind of XML document I wanted, uh, or the format anyway, the skeleton. I, I knew the schema that I wanted the XML file to actually look like. And uh, so the from there, I wanted to create an XSD uh, file, a strong type XSD, so that um, I can program against it in my development uh, staging area, and uh, so I can also have a visual of this document, uh, of the XML document. And so that's what this is. And uh, I use the xsd.exe tool to generate this file, uh, this XSD file over here which creates these three subclasses here, or files. And uh, what's cool about it is I visually see what the XML document will look like, or in a database type of format, I will see what it looks like, um, how it's uh, 
broken up into different entities. And then the xsd.exe tool automatically added all the relations, as we saw there. Uh, I think we saw it earlier, so I can probably just cut this part of it out. Okay, so now I want to program against this, um, this file. I want to create uh, in my program a bunch of data, controller historical data, that uses this 